As a matter of fact, if you'd like to, Liam, I will give you a history check with advantage because you've got a lot of stuff going with you about what you know about Thay. With my plus nine, that is a 23. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so Thay is definitely infamous. Um, you know all the stuff we've covered, of course. Uh, you do know that Thay has also had a an up and down history. Like they'd probably be much more powerful than they were now if they hadn't had so many weird losses in the past. Um, because they've had the normal problems that a lot of nations have had, like they fight other people, right? You do also know that one of their main ways they fight people is with undead too. Um, and they're like, I'm not talking about like, you know, oh, a couple undead, like actual undead armies. Oh, great. Yeah. So they're, despite that, though, they're strangely, <laughs> they, they strangely have a lot of losses on their record. <laughs> um, and not even the things you would mainly think of. It's like, oh, well, they fought another Mormon nation and they actually lost at some point. And they lost land, they gained land. It's There's been a lot of back and forth. Um, they're relatively new as far as nations go. Um, they've been around for like, I want to say like 500 years-ish or so officially as they. Um, they've changed leaders a bit since then. Sastam is the leader now and he's... And this is not a secret. He's a lich. Like it's, he doesn't hide that. He's a lich. Um, he's also well known. You would know this that to travel around a lot. But just from what you know, you suspect that he uses simulacrums a lot. Mm. So you think? So I mean, that's that's kind of a rumor. But just based on what you've learned and what you've heard, you're like, it sounds a lot more like simulacrums than teleporting around. But the rumor is he he gets around very easily, and that's you know, teleportation is an easy thing to say. Uh, they have had several instances in the past where they have been caught doing things that kind of are not approved of, and generally those things have been you know, taken down, eliminated. We promise we won't do that again. Like having a large vault where they were doing terrible necromantic rituals. I promise. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, they've recently gotten very big into elemental magic to the point of, and this is only a rumor, but being able to open and close elemental portals at will. Um, supposedly they're working on a power source for that, but nothing's come to public. So basically uh, Doom 2016. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see um, this going well. You do know that, like, Zastam is basically the one in charge. Um, there's also a council called Zolkiers. They are supposedly, you know, rule it along with Zastam, but anyone who really knows anything about it knows that Zastam is basically the dictator. Uh... Thay, you do know that Thay is also not a nice place to live in because it's actually a, a pretty crappy plot of land. It's um, <laughs> And that's both because it was kind of crappy to begin with and also because there's been magical stuff that's just blown it up to hell and back throughout the years. Um, there's rumors of great pits of research and awful magical experiments which go on in the Fabian landscape, but no one has really laid eyes on that it's only been rumors and stuff. Uh, let's see. What else would you know with that? Um, they have been making diplomatic headway into a lot of nations as of late, even more than usual, uh, to the point where Zastam is actually cheered in some locations when he comes in. Um, now, it and you would know, being noble, that that's more of a, he scratched somebody's back, so now people like him. <laughs> um, as in, he is not as bad that is the current ruler that the common people know of. <laughs> um, but it has been making ripples throughout the political landscape uh, to the point where they, they has actually been um, suggesting that some nations could, or some cities could be better served as being part of they. So AKA they've asked people to actually openly join them and become part of the Fabian nation, but no one's really taken them up on that yet. Yeah, okay. Ah, that's good. Um, and and there's Zast Tam right there. Yeah, there he is. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> um, no. 
Uh, you do also know that there has been numerous attempts on Zastam's life, which is which have ended in utter failure. Um, a lot of people want him dead, but he's a little too smart and uh, powerful for that, at least for now. Uh, I do also know there are some rumors that Zastam and some of the Zulkirs have made dark pacts with some deities, but that's more of public rumors than anything. Um, and there's, you know, their nation is basically a necromancy and slave driven economy. Um, and all the stuff I've told you about them producing a lot of high quality magical goods, a lot of unique things. And it's a rumor, but also probably a pretty um, substantiated rumor that they have a lot of magical secrets that wizards outside of Thay would love to get their hands on. But you know, they keep heading away. Every so often, the soul cure is asked to break out this amazing new spell in public. Um, and that's that. So yeah, they know how to teleport. Um, but then again, you did see a mage at the gate who is definitely not Thavian, so who knows. So where to? Well, um... I think you should join, say, you and your brother. I think that's a... Oh, yeah. No, that's totally our <laughs> style. <laughs> I mean, just... the leader alone. Yeah, no. Oh. I, I'm going to be true to my word. I wasn't lying. I, I will go and try and procure... I'm going to try to find, like, a butcher or three. And what I want is raw meat and cooked meat. The raw meat's for Glavigol, the cooked meat's for Bren. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, it's, it's not a problem for... Um, for everything that is rumored about the city, it is really easy to find stuff around here because they have people who are willing to direct you to places and they even have um, purveyors of certain goods like actually sectioned off in certain areas. You're like, oh, well, there's like the meats area. So you go over there and there's a like, bunch of selections to choose from. Um, so yeah, the, you got some important stuff. You got some local stuff. What would you like? I ask Bren what Bren would like, and I basically want him to go smell. Okay. <laughs> he starts smelling around. I get, so I want like local stuff so it's not really rotten. It's just dead. Because hmm. I, I know they're going to put seasoning in it and whatnot to preserve it or magic. And I, ju I just want yeah. meat that someone killed like today. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, you could even get something that's live if you really want something fresh. Ooh. Done. <laughs> like, uh, you know, a chicken. Funk. Just toss oh. the chicken in, see what happens. Okay, it's just a couple yeah. of copper. Glavigal, do you like chicken? Well, that's... I mean, I, I've had chicken before, but... Oh, there's a lot of... There's a lot of different meats here. Live chicken would be good, though. Okay, here's a couple of copper. <laughs> it's a little bit of a scene as a chicken goes... Rock, rock, rock. So it just slowly <laughs> yeah, I'm in. just gonna... Just watch the magic. I'm, no, I'm, I'm just kind of like, mm, okay. Yeah, butcher's <laughs> like, all right. <laughs> He's hungry. Yeah, yeah, no, I get it. I, I, you can get it. I, I, I it's get it. It's just, look, here, I, I give him a couple extra copper just to oh, kind of make him feel better, honestly, <laughs> and make him not talk about this. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. You got to pay everybody around here, copper. You saw nothing. <laughs> nope, just him, just him. But again, like it's it's kind of like the guards. Like people, are like oh, that's kind of interesting. But nobody here really seems to care a whole lot. I sure turn to grab a goal. How was it? He says, "Hmm, it was actually pretty good." You still hungry? I mean, yes and no. I mean, hunger is kind of a weird thing for me, right? Like I'd I buy can... five more chickens. Oh. <laughs> and so you're just going in. down the street and there's like various chicken parts hanging out. <laughs> yep, yep. Just in the in the pile. There you go. Mm -hmm. Figure it out. <laughs> Bren, have you found anything less horrifying than this? He's like found some what looks like link sausages. Done. Here, just, just, just give me that. Give me that. Here, Bren. And I just wrap him around his neck. There you go. Oh, oh that's perfect. Mm. It's like meat to go. Don't eat all of it in one go. It, this is supposed to last us no, for a bit. It's okay. If I if I eat all of it, then I'll actually I'll I'll, I'll bury it for later. It's fine. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen a dog eat like twenty hot dogs before. 
I have not actually. No, I have. They have an interesting way of dealing with that. I don't want to know. Yeah, you probably don't. <laughs> so I, I don't want to know. We're good. We're good. <laughs> it involves burying them. This is. <laughs> yeah. No. We're we're good. We're good. That's that's my thing. I mean, I might be looking into the the Coliseum thing, but that's yeah. Me. So you're you're a couple silver lighter, but you know, <laughs> got some meat purchased. Um, people actually seem to kind of be like, oh, this is kind of funny watching Glabagool eat the chickens. Um, you know, people kind of you know, smile and point and laugh when you know they're just getting sucked in. I think it's kind of funny. If, if you want to pay for the chicken, you can toss the chicken in yourself. Oh, okay. <laughs> so there's just kind of a show of people getting various things to just toss into Glabagool. Um, only and, edibles. Know, only it, edibles. Some of the stuff ends up not being chicken. I'm gonna I'm gonna intercept anything that's like like if someone tries to throw a sword in or or like nobody tries to throw a sword in. Dang, <laughs> no, it. I'm just no no. Swords no. are way too valuable to throw in. Someone tries to throw their their kid in. That's not happening. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. It's way oh, too valuable. To I'll, let, I'll let tomatoes go through. Tomato might have work. He, he needs some more vegetables in his diet. I think. Hey, cord. What in the world? Go with the uh, the chicken. It's weird. Somebody I don't know just sent me pictures of their driveway. Uh, anyway. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Uh, unknown number, just <laughs> random pictures of a snowy driveway. <laughs> yep, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, kitties, I, I sent you something in Discord. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm thinking like rather than going to like the Thay big box store for teleportation purposes, see if we could find something a little bit more uh, local, like a, I don't want to say like, like a wizard's guild, but like a, just kind of like a wizard services um, district or something. Okay. That's yeah. So there is actually, so you don't see something that's like a wizard servicing district, but I mean, you ask around pretty quickly. Someone will point you to um, the uh, mage library. Okay. And they'll say, you know, if if you want anything like arcane or magic related, um, it's not specifically where you hire services, but you'll find all the mages in the library. Okay. Do you need me to come with you? <laughs> I had a feeling you're going to say that. <laughs> um, probably yes. Very well. Since you'll know more about this than I would, you would be able to negotiate this better than I would. In that case, uh, Mark, do me a favor. In case the teleportation doesn't work out, actually, before I do that, uh, third, mm -hmm. can. That's not the right. Um, is it possible to get to the Sword Coast from here via ship? Uh, let's see. I want to say yes. I just want to make sure there's not some weird blockage. Um, or can we get a spell jammer? That's a little <laughs> more difficult. Yeah. The answer is technically yes, but... Um, so let's see. So you'd go down around here, around near Termish. Come on. So the answer is technically yes. You'd have to go river travel at some point, but you could. Okay. Um, I'm not, I mean, not going to lie. It's going to be a pretty big haul, but you could. I, I'm guessing it would be an easier trip than going overland um I and mean, i don't want to complicate the game it'd probably but... be longer but it'd be less dangerous um, however you'd probably have to find people to actually ask them because what i mean what you'd be doing is going down the sea of fallen stars like going south and then like eventually you would have to disembark and either go a little bit on land or just take a river down to um, the Shining Sea. And then that would basically be a straight trek back up north to the Sword Coast. Okay. 
So, Mark, um, in case the teleportation doesn't work out, uh, as a backup plan, maybe see if you can charter uh, a boat to get us uh, from the Moon Sea down uh, as, as far as we can get. And I know you're chewing, so I don't... <laughs> just, just nod. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we'll uh we'll head towards the, the wizards. Okay. All right. Okay, cool. So sorry, I'm I'm just looking to see because I think there's a canal like right over here before I, I say anything. Uh, skate. Because this might be like a Panama Canal type deal right here. Hmm. Uh, actually, yes, there is. Okay. So... I'm going to menace a little bit. So yes, you can go down through the moon sea through to see fallen stars. And then you'd head basically straight west. It looks like there's a canal which goes through Cormier, which ends up next to Baldur's Gate. So a lot of it won't be sea travel, but like, oh no. <laughs> okay, so library. So the library is pretty easy to find. It is near the castle, um, but not too near that you're actually on the grounds for it. It's a pretty large library, um, and it doesn't seem to have any particular marks on the outside. It just seems to be you know, a place where everybody knows where it is. You see a lot of mages hanging around outside. Most of them seem to have these... Um, fairly high quality robes on that have the symbol of Hillsfar on them. So obviously some city employed mages of some sort, but the rest of them seem to be uh, various types of other houses or organizations or businesses, or maybe even just freelancers, people passing through and stuff. Um, probably doesn't really compare to a place like Candlekeep. But like Liam and Tassin, when you go in there, you see that there is like quite a selection here. Um, and there are scribes and stuff of all sort inside. There seems to be you know, copying services, things like that. There's, um, it's actually fairly noisy in here because there's a lot of chatter and discussion and stuff happening inside. Uh, but there are you know, you toss a stick, you'll hit a wizard or some of some I sort. I do not recommend. <laughs> um, you do also see some, you know, clerics and stuff in here as well, um, who seem to be studying religious texts and just other, other uh, curious people. Okay. Do they have like an equivalent uh, front desk or like uh, information desk or something? Somebody who, or do we just like? have to just like grab some random person and say, hey, I'm looking for. Um, as best you can tell, um, there's not like you know, someone in like a huge library front desk at the front of there. Mm -hmm. um, but the mages that have the symbol of Hillsfar on there do seem to at least be keeping watch on the place. So they seem to at least be, you know, quote unquote, in charge. Okay. And the um, scribes that you see around here do seem to be um, like, for the most part, state scribe. So it, it's pretty obvious as you look around that Hillsfar probably runs this place and the mages here probably help keep it up. Okay. Um, so I'm going to approach one of the per peripheral mages since I don't want to really bug one of the scribes. Yep. There seems to be a, um, a an older woman who just seems to be kind of minding her business who is not currently busy. And I just lost sound. Oh, okay. Oh, no, it's back. Okay. All right. I heard a pop and then I lost it for a second. Oh. Uh, good day and well met. Uh, do you have a moment to, to speak? 
She looks you up and down. Do you have? Yeah. I'm guessing you're wearing your Kellenvor symbol, right? Yeah. Okay. She says, um, oh, cleric of Kellenvor. Uh, it's, it's not often we get people who aren't of Tempest or Agma or even Sune around here. What can I do? Uh, well, we were wondering if we could speak with somebody who might be able to uh, negotiate transport of the magical kind for six individuals. I hope that math is right. I think it's six individuals. Yeah, she says, um, well, that uh, it depends on where to. Uh, well, see, there's this lovely lady. So, so uh, would Baldur's Gate be an easier destination than, say, what's a closer, like, Yartar, if I'm reading this map correctly? Um, she thinks for a second, and she says, yeah, before we go off on some wild goose chase, follow me. Um, we're going to look at known teleportation circles. Okay. And then I can give you an answer. Great. Um, I will warn you that services of that kind, unless you have a favor of some sort, likely aren't cheap. But I'm sure you have somebody who is, uh, maybe not yourself, I don't know, um, floating some extra cash to pay whatever you need to get there. Um, so she goes over to a row of books and they all seem to be very similar um and she just pulls one out and a couple of them seem to be gone already and it just seems to be a copy of teleportation circles of you know, known locations and she starts flipping through um and she says obviously i can tell you without looking at this that there are locations in Baldur's gate like that's not hard um now the place you're wanting to go to like where specifically did you say it was uh, if I'm reading the map correctly, it's uh, Yartar. Yartar, okay. I do know of Yartar. Fairly quaint, but nice trading area. It does mostly river travel. Uh, let's see. She looks at Yartar. She says, there is, there, is, there is a place in Yartar. Um, you'd have to find a mage that could do it. Uh, unfortunately, that would not be me. I've never been there myself, but it's an entirely possible, yes, if you're looking for someone to teleport you there easily and without error. I'm sure that's Preferably, yes. Can do it. And that, that is the point of a teleportation circle, yes. Now, um, if you're looking for someone to do it, there is a couple places I could recommend. A couple, couple organizations. Um, in the state of um, the say. Oh, God. <laughs> She it's will crazy. lead off of that. She says, I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, but if you at all want to deal with them, the Red Embassy would be a place to do it. Their prices are fair if you want to deal with them. I understand if you don't. Uh, and she names a couple of um, other houses. Uh, she does name um, the Thriss, um, which she explains is actually a... Um, uh, a merchanting house here, but they have services such as teleportation that they would likely lend out for a um, an okay price. Um, she does also say if you want to appeal directly, I mean, she's, if you do want to appeal directly to the state, you can. She's not the person to, to do that. You could go to the actual Mises Guild located near the Hillsfar Castle and appeal to them. But she's like, it's if they don't know who you are, it's probably not going to get you anywhere. Okay. Uh, she does say that the other one that she'll mention is, um, and she just straight up says this, the, uh, the Rogues Guild would probably be able to conduct those services for you. Um, and she says that there is, uh, where is it? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Where are you? Sorry, I'm looking for one other person here. All good. I'm writing these down. Oh, so yes. Far. Master Ladrun. Uh, she says, technically a member of the Mages Guild, but does most of her services on the side uh, to the point where she's barely part of the Mages Guild at all. 
Um, doesn't like to get around a whole lot, but if you catch her on a good day, she'll just you know, take you to Yartar for a modest fee if there is something there that she needs. You know, it's like a side gig while going out to get groceries kind of, you know. Okay. Um, there's other houses and organizations around here, of course, would do it. I'm just mentioning the ones that will probably give you the better price if you don't know anyone in the city. Why, thank you. Mm-hmm. Not a problem. This will get us on our way, hopefully. Oh, and uh, if you have any trade to conduct in the city at all, I'd probably do it within the next few days. Um, there is going to be a larger uh, tournament happening, and everybody will be there. So you're probably not going to drag anyone away during that time to get teleported out. Just so you know. Okay. I do want to ask you one thing, though. Uh-oh. <laughs> Where did you get that sun sword? That is a very long story. Oh, I'm, I'm sure it is. I'm, I'm merely curious. You don't see those walking around everywhere. Um, going to do a quick um, insight. insight check. Okay. To see if this is just like random curiosity or is this more I'm a little bit not I'm 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 a little bit leery since the last time I was asked that it was by a drow in a house that wanted me dead so they can take the sword and corrupt it. Just you know, it's hard to let oh, that go. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh that is twelve. Twelve. Okay. I mean it's uh... As far as you can tell, it seems to be just idle curiosity. Like, oh, I see a very powerful item that I don't normally see. What's the story behind it? Okay. Uh, we stumbled across it in a crypt in the Underdark. Really? You've been to the Underdark? Did and you come from the way down? Thankfully back. Uh, no. Okay. Um, the way down is the place that's outside Hillsbar. Um, as far as you know. Okay. But she's asking if that's where we came from. Yes. Um, that's my understanding, is where we exited out of. Oh, okay. Uh, to, the, was... uh, to the east. I didn't, uh, I'm not very familiar. We did, uh, that's an additional long story. We hmm. didn't start out there. Oh, well, it sounds like you've been through <laughs> quite an adventure. Uh, yes, yes, quite some, quite some dealings. It's all over now. We're going home and everything's yep. going to be cool forever. Nothing, yeah, nothing to see here. Uh, we had a radiation leak. We got it locked down. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, huh? we've, we've spent quite some time in the Underdark and uh, it is quite the place. Uh, I, I, I don't miss the cuisine. The cuisine here is much better. Well, I'm glad you two so. people uh, throwing chickens in the clavicle cut back. <laughs> yeah, <what>? of course. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, it sounds like somebody just squeezed a bunch of rubber chickens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's just, well, if you have some time in the city, I, would you permit me to, with you present, of course, at least take some etchings and drawings of the sun sword? I would like to add it to the library here. This is no two sun swords are alike, I've heard. And uh, I want to confirm that theory. So, Don Bringer, what do you think? Mm. Don Bringer says, I, I, I don't mind, I suppose, but you know, I would not want to be in the care of the people here. As long as you are here, I will be fine. As long as I am not shut off, I'll be fine. No, we. Uh, I I will absolutely be present as will uh, as many who are available. Uh, For when that turns into a boss fight, yeah, <laughs> Just boss fight in the library. Ah. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. 
Yeah. Cue the fireball. <laughs> and that's when this place got renamed Alexandria. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> I don't think even Liam would forgive you for that. 